Hello YouTube. Let's check out a bunch of new cars and a uh, new 164th diecast display. And uh, maybe check out some of these uh, other uh, 164th things. So this is a little display I got off eBay. Uh, kind of expensive for what it was, I think. I don't know it some of the other ones were a lot bigger so you can see to my hand it's not not very big at all almost thought it said it came with a acrylic uh, cover but I guess it didn't and I'm pretty sure it was like $31 uh, that was shipped and it is shipped from the US so you can see CS at orangeconnects.com so if Frank Frank Park Illinois and then uh, I think that says where Express so I haven't got on that website yet I purchased this from eBay but I'm assuming you probably could get on the website and order these. Uh, I might have to check that out after I get off here. But uh, anyways, they're really good quality, like PVC board. What did I knock over? Ladder. I haven't glued nothing down or made nothing permanent yet but uh i already had like the drill press and that stuff the gas monkey garage toolbox uh little gas pump but you can see there's good detail on the wall pretty good detail on the shop floor Looks like it needs swept, maybe. Some old motorcycles going up the side. More posters and stuff in the back. No smoking. So definitely need a lot of garage accessories for this. I tried putting an M2 lift in here and it was way way too big but we gotta get a die cast car in here it does have a LED light across the back that uh, just plugs into uh, any USB bad thing is the cords like barely six inches long so yeah, it might be eight Probably about six. I don't know. But almost looks better without the light on on the video. But off video, it definitely looks better with the light on. Uh, puts a heck of a glare on the camera. Like, you don't see all this glariness uh, with the naked eye. Almost like that light needs toned down even a little bit more than what it is. But enough of that one. Let's get into uh, this green light. Now this is Summit Racing. Now I was fortunate enough I grew up uh, about 40 minutes from Summit Racing. So me and my buddy used to drive out there all the time in high school. And I have drove out there a few other times. Uh, it's right off a of freeway that I travel on. It's not all the time, not frequently, but I travel travel on it once or twice a year maybe. And uh, it's always cool to drive past Summit. So kind of cool they made a Summit Racing Packet. This is an exclusive Shop Tool Multi-Pack. 
I don't know where it was the exclusive to. Hobby exclusive, maybe? I did not find this one at Hobby Lobby, but I almost think I've seen it at Hobby Lobby. Get a car jack. It's a Summit Racing. I need to get a pair of long reach uh, tweezers for setting up these dioramas because they're like dominoes. And I don't know if there's some kind of little tacky stuff I can use. Just like clear little tiny pieces of tacky tape or something to help hold them in place so they don't fall over like dominoes. But sometimes it's quite difficult to set stuff up. By the time you get one thing set up, you knock everything else over that you already had set up. And the more little things you try to set up, the worse it is. So a really awesome little workbench there. Get a tool cart here. Got air compressor. Stick that upstairs. Get a car dolly. Or not a car dolly. How am I saying a car dolly? We get a creeper for your mechanic to lay on. And you might think this is a messed up garage because the next thing I have to show you, but here we go. We got a Summit toolbox here. Stick that one upstairs. Car back in there. But I say we go ahead and get out some of these people I have. And this is from American Diorama. So you just look up American Diorama 164th. And uh, I hope they continue to release all kinds of stuff. Now this is the way these got shipped here. But these are uh, the 164th scale mechanic. Wait. Calendar Girls? Huh. Set. So, I guess they are mechanics. But we're going to go ahead and set these girls up. Uh, these are die cast metal. And you got March, June, May, January, April, and February. All with their poses. It's kind of funny, the chase versions of these are just like uh, the skin colored with uh, no painted detail. So, it not much of a chase to me. And uh, it makes the figures look naked. And uh, some of them look funny because some are fat, like the police ones and uh, some of the, uh, the low rider ones and stuff. Some of them figures are... Uh, fat and then uh the females they kind of they kind of look naked so it's kind of like a funny thing that they do and they do provide these little tiny clear uh tape things so you can uh fasten or like uh help secure them down so they don't fall all all over the place uh i wish i could buy more of them because they only give you enough for the amount of figures that they give you. But. And we'll see how much die cast we get into. Of course these are die cast metal. Guess we're going to have a photo shoot here. Just put them all posing in front of that awesome Mustang. 
Maybe we can turn the lights back on for him. Really careful I don't bump this. Darn it. She's going to be hard to stand up. But you know what? You can't even see her in the video right now. I think it's so awesome how these are all die cast metal. I thought one of them was supposed to be laid across the hood. Maybe it's that one. We'll have to look at the packaging again. And there goes the domino effect. That's kind of funny. They got thongs on. That they should. Yep, yeah, there goes the dominoes. Told you. <laughs> it almost, I haven't had one yet that doesn't stand up on its own so they don't have a big base on them like the green lights do that come with uh, theirs so I love how it's just their feet and they it might not be easy to balance but I've never had one that did not balance and stand on its own. So very awesome. Of course they look great in a display too. If you could only get them all to stand up. I bumped the one that I had like three of these different uh, people. So it was like, uh, uh, you get what? One, two, three, four, five. You get six girls in this one. I think a lot of times you get five or four and you get something with it. So I might have had like 15 of them plus other little things. And wouldn't you know it, I just barely bumped it and every one of them fell over. Every single one of them. I just laughed. It'd take 15 minutes to reset every one of them up. So that's all you can do is laugh. So if anybody does these little dioramas and has any tips on how to secure the things down, I mean, you don't want to make it permanent. I think you would want to move them or might want to use them for another display someday. So... I don't think you want to secure them permanently, but something that you could secure them temporarily that ain't going to hurt what you're securing or the base, like peel anything off of the base. So if anybody has any ideas or knows of anything, please let me know. I'm open for suggestions. Absolutely make sure you hit that subscribe button, especially if you like seeing stuff like this, because I love making these videos. I'm going to continue to make these videos and show my diecast collection. So, tried doing a live last night. Did not go very well. Uh, I, I don't think it's a reception or anything. I watched other people's lives before, and I, it's just the quality of the YouTube, uh, how it record stuff live it uh it's real pixely and it's not worth it so i don't think i'll be doing that again but uh i wish i could because it's a real good way to communicate with uh my uh fellow subscribers which i love communicating with you guys so make sure you leave comments that's like the best way we can communicate uh instagram's ultimately the best way we can communicate which i do leave a link for my instagram uh 
I will start leaving a link down below uh, to uh, mass car displays so that uh, if you're interested in one of these display cases, you can uh, get on there and order them straight from mass car. You don't have to go through eBay or Amazon or nothing like that. You can just go straight through mass car. Uh, if you use the promotional code uh, HUNTER, you will save 15% on your purchase. So that's pretty good. That's like getting shipping for free because uh, they're pretty large. Uh, they're real lightweight, but still because of the size, they're not cheap to ship. And on uh, eBay or Amazon, that's the most expensive part of it is the shipping. And I... Keep throwing it back if I'm going to get six or eight, but I'm getting ready to order six or eight of them. Uh, I don't know if I want all black, all white. I'm thinking I'm going to get eight white of them. And I would have room for exactly eight of them. But even standing up, it's hard to see them top four or five rows. Just the way that it is. If I step up on a little stool or something, I can see them just fine. But uh, keeping them the way it is, which I like, with a bench under it, I'll be able to fit two, three, four more right here, which will be my entire burgundy car collection. And then on the other wall, I have it measured out where I can fit six of them on that wall. But it'd be the same thing. It would go all the way up to the ceiling and down this low, which I'd be able to put another bench over there under them. Like this bench, which I absolutely love for filming videos, which was ultimately going to be my burgundy display. But I think I'm going to wait until I get the mass car displays. And I think the four that I put over here, when I take down these shelves, uh, those four will all be my burgundy car display. I think I'm going to display them in there. That way I don't have to worry about them getting dusty or nothing. I can save this workbench over here for organizing the diecast insanity and maybe shooting videos. But ultimately, I would like a lot of little areas set up throughout my workshop to uh, or my diecast room to be able to film videos. So that's why I've spent a lot on lighting and stuff in here uh, to get good lighting for filming videos. So it doesn't matter where I set up. Like, uh, I'll show you guys my golf display. It's probably sometime this week. And uh, we'll crack open these, like, I guess it's unofficial golf crew. But they're kind of in the golf colors. So we'll set them up around my golf garage and my golf gas station from Green Light. Along with a bunch of Green Light golf cars. So if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you know when I post the new videos especially if you like seeing racing liveries because eventually i'm going to go through the whole collection of racing liveries that i collect and show them all but right now we'll check out this corvette which is really well done i uh, almost think this came out in like a box set or something like exclusive to walmart like a uh, hot wheels garage box set baby has a roll cage on the inside it's a corvette with real riders and uh it's from a seller on ebay i was already purchasing a uh bunch i bought a whole bunch of ids so stay tuned for a future video on the, a whole bunch of really awesome ID releases. But uh, I mean, they are just some really awesome ID releases. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you get notified. Because that video will be coming up soon. Also, I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers, and at 3,000 subscribers, I'm going to have a big giveaway. So, definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button to help me get to 3,000. 
If you have friends who love awesome die cast, share my videos with them. Go back, watch older videos of mine. Leave comments. Love reading your guys' comments. This Corvette is just insane. Very, very, very well done by Hot Wheels. Very happy to have it for the Corvette collection. It's actually one of my favorite ones. That thing is sweet. Yep, knew that was going to happen, so I try standing her up. If I bump anything else, everybody else will fall over. So frustrating. This one just kind of looks odd. She's like, kind of just staring off. Ain't really staring at anything. I like that one with the sunglasses. Can't tell what she's staring at. I got another mystery car here. Hot Wheels mystery model. I'm not sure what it is. You don't know about these mystery models. If you unfold this little flap in the back. And you look right here. There's that number. N0606. So this is car number six. So then you go up here and you look, car number one, 55 Chevy. Man, I'm going to have to get that one. Car number two, the Corvette. Going to need that one too. SRT Viper, yep. Nope. Uh, twin mill, uh, I got like two of them in the collection. And then we got the Bone Shaker, number six. That's a must-have for the Bone Shaker collection. And that color completely surprised me. Looked more of a gray on the packaging, but it is clearly tan. Yep, there goes the Domino's. Wanted to move it a little bit. And we had the Domino effect. So I don't know what I'm going to do with all these darn Hot Wheels stickers. I liked it better when it was a goofy cartoon image of the car. I don't think I'm going to save them stickers anymore. Because all I care about is a die cast. Would you just look at that? Always happy to add a bone shaker to the collection. Love the checkered theme. The wild cat on the side. It says bone shaker, but it looks like a wild cat. Always oh, happy to add a bone shaker to the collection. For some reason, it don't look bad with that Corvette, too. Like, their colors kind of don't look bad together. Well, definitely make sure you leave comments. Let me know if you like videos like this where I show little dioramas I pick up so I can take pictures and uh, film videos. Wish I could get sponsored by one of these companies that makes these. I would love to be able to get a whole bunch of them. To help promote or something. But uh, it's a Chinese supplier of them. And uh, I don't know how to figure out or find out who makes them. So... If anybody out there knows anything about the maker of these dioramas, I don't know why 
it couldn't be made in the U.S. or what it would take for a printer that could print on uh, this uh, PVC, which I think is, I don't think that's a quarter inch thick. I think that's an eighth. It might be a quarter. It's kind of thick. So sorry just to have talked for 25 minutes and not have cracked open a whole lot of die cast. But uh, we'll definitely have more videos where I crack open a bunch of die cast. I have a bunch of Z-Max I'm going to crack open here. And a bunch of uh, Hot Wheels ID. So stay tuned for them videos to come. And uh, Muscle Car Monday. Which, a little hint, just might be the last mainline Hot Wheels uh, Mustang Monday. Because uh, I still have like 14 Mustang mainlines to crack open out of like 40 of them. So I think it's a second or third video of cracking open a bunch of mainline Mustangs. So if you want to see a bunch of old mainline Mustangs from all throughout the years, we got cool classics and... Others that uh, are special releases and Walmart editions. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you know when I post my Muscle Car Monday. Uh, definitely would like to have like some kind of little garage or little banner or something uh, made up just for Muscle Car Monday and use it for Muscle Car Monday. Like a display like this, but it'd have to be like a garage, like three times bigger. So I can really spread things out and have room to set up all the cars for uh, Muscle Car Monday or something. But I think a setup like that would be pretty cool. And have like a banner somewhere hanging that says like Muscle Car Monday. Uh, somebody called it uh, MCM, which I really liked. A logo that says MCM uh, that people knows what it means and says muscle car monday under it or something i'm just saying that'd be really awesome any t-shirt designers out there be an awesome t-shirt too mcm muscle car monday well definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button the like button and leave comments have a good day everybody